Hey there, everyone. Today, I wanted to pop in really quick and talk to you about an issue that I have seen come up when people are using Google Photos and iCloud and what the one downfall of using those two programs together is in terms of maybe deleting your photos out of your iCloud account. So let's dig into it. Okay, so I have lots of students who come to me and they are using both iCloud and Google Photos. And sometimes it's intentional and sometimes it is not. And so what I want to point out to you is that it is totally fine to use Google Photos and iCloud if you would like to, in order to create a redundant backup of your camera roll. What this means is that if you have enabled both Google Photos and iCloud to automatically back up the photos that you take with your phone, it means that you are sending a copy of every photo, screenshot, etc., that you take to your iCloud account. And you're also sending a copy to your Google Photos account. So you may not know that if you have both enabled. Lots of people come to me and they have no idea that they have enabled both of these cloud services but it's totally fine. It does mean that when you go to get your photos out of these cloud services, if you want to create a master photo collection or a master family photo collection, like I teach in my classes, that you have to download your photos from both unless you know that they are absolutely identical. But that's another story. But today we're talking about the one pitfall of having both of these services enabled. And that is, is if you have enabled Google Photos and you have told it to delete the photo off your phone, once it is backed up into Google Photos, what you are basically doing is deleting it from your phone and your iCloud account because Google Photos works differently than iCloud. With iCloud, iCloud is a sync your photos everywhere um, type of service. So what's in iCloud is the same that's on your phone and the same that's on your Mac. Now, Google Photos works differently. Google Photos basically works that like once you send it there, it stays there until you actually go in and delete it from Google Photos. So what happens here is that if you have enabled it so that Google Photos deletes the photo from your phone after it backs it up to Google Photos, what that is going to do is tell iCloud that you have deleted that photo from your phone. And therefore, it's going to delete it from both your iCloud account, your phone, and then if you have your photo synced in the photo app back down to your Mac, it's going to get deleted from there too. So this is a very important distinction. If you're using Google Photos and iCloud, just make sure that you don't have this turned on because otherwise um, you might be deleting photos out of your iCloud account that you didn't mean to. Anyway, I hope that that helps. Um, I really do encourage you to use a backup service for your camera roll that does do it automatically. I personally use Dropbox, but Google Photos is fine, iCloud is fine. Those things are absolutely fine to use. Just make sure that you know what you're doing. And if you're at the stage where you really want to get all your photos um, into one place, then definitely come and you can download my free Find Your Photos workbook, which is the first step. And I, I hope to be able to help you with all of this, um, either now or in the future and whenever, whenever you are ready. So I will see you soon and um, have a great day. Thanks, bye.